Welcome back. Did even more farming. Um, on the stairs of Analondo. I bought all the armor sets that were available for Handmaiden. So that's cool. Um, I've uh, already been up this ladder, actually. Uh, just about two minutes ago. Yep, that's what happened. So, uh, I think for my own safety, I'm swapping back to the Flambush. Because <laughs> this guy fucking hurts. That's right. Not some rowing, so back to Mailmakers. Right. Yeah, so funny how this playthrough started right as um, Return to Drang Lake was kicking off. And it's still going during Return of Lothric. Oh. Kicked uh, some tub of pens and pencils under my desk. Well done, me. Ah, uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, that Elden Ring looks good. <laughs> like I said, uh, during Analondo, um, as I proceeded to die to, you know, in front of one of the coolest cosplay builds I've seen in forever. Ah, uh, but Kazuya in Smash Bros. That's pretty rad. Alright, now there's a dumb thing with this knight. If you stand here, he'll ignore you. You know, to be fair, he's not the dumb one. It's this next one that can do some dumb shit. I'm just gonna wait it out. Because I want to hit that bonfire, because we're not even doing Lothric Castle tonight. So sometimes, this dude will just walk in circles. Thankfully, he is not. And just here, we have this chuckle fuck. Right. Now, thankfully, we've only just got to get to this. Sit down. Um, run up, grab a chest, and I think an item. Yep, we'll grab that item. And then we can cow it out. Yes. I can get another weapon up to plus seven now. Thank Christ. We're just going to grab the armor from here. The Hood of Prayer, Robe of Prayer, Skirt of Prayer, and we're going to get through here before someone invades us. Oh, phew. That's weird. You get that landing animation. Do it. Radio. So, Consume King's Garden. Pretty cool area. Pretty small area, um, which is why I'm doing it tonight. I'm not sure how hard... Oh, I'll just wait one sec. In actuality, I'm not entirely sure how hard cuts or changing of plans hit this area. Obviously, there's the whole... The boss of this area, Osiris, was um, not the boss of this area and is allegedly a recycled asset from Bloodborne that never got used for Dragon Angel. Um, and Gundir was here with... Well, with the name Osiris. Yeah, so I know that, but I'm pretty sure the area itself wasn't really affected too heavily. Um, yeah, passive man, um, good times, I'm looking forward to this as a consequence. Um, one of the main things I know for a fact, also there's nothing here right now, but I think there's a ring there in New Game Plus, in one of them at least. Um, one of the enemies here, the slugs, actually got a bit of a downgrade. They were meant to be more akin to the Cramped, ca cramped caskets from uh, from Bloodborne, where they just kind of explode and not quite pass of man out, but it was going to be a little different to what we got. Oh yeah, and uh, this shit is toxic. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about as much as I care for Britney Spears, <laughs> all the music at least. Right, so we got a big old knight friend up here. Um, some goodies under there that I'll grab in a sec. Uh, this is an area I don't think I've ever actually been invaded in. I remember in um, one of Saint Wright's old stream of consci consciousness videos, he you know pointed out the obvious. 
area is kind of short. That was meant to be a kick. It wasn't, though. Thank you. Um, the area is kind of short. It's really easy to just bolt to the boss if you get invaded. So there's not a lot you can do here. Probably a good chunk of the uh, reason as to why it's pretty empty down here. So black fire bomb, shadow set. Excuse me, I'm waving for some reason. Thank you, gestures. I uh, motion control gestures. I love you so much. Never a hindrance, especially not in Bloodborne. Yeah, so these little sluggy buggers were meant to uh, meant to become like mini cramp caskets, cramp coffins, whatever you want to call them. Looked really fucking cool. Um, you can you can see it in an old video Lance McDonald made many moons ago. That's where I saw it from, at least. I'm pretty sure they would have talked about it over on the Snack Covenant, over on Sinclair Law. Again, I don't really care too much about the law stuff behind this game, but I'll watch videos about like stuff that got cut or changed around. That shit's really interesting to me. God. I sure do love balancing these guys in that I mute the... Oh, well, no, mute. I just turn the audio down for when they're on screen. Yep. Yep. What do you got? Haha, <laughs> no. Definitely not. Right, so we'll head back up there in a sec. We'll head up there, I should say, rather. Let's give this guy a good one. Gonna back up because I'm gonna get toxic in any sec. Fade out some hits. Firebomb should be good now. Yep, there we go. I've made a mistake. Oh! I was really bloody lucky there. Yeah, look. I'm kind of hoping uh, Elden Ring enemies don't do this. They're not this obnoxious hitbox that you can't ignore and will just slam you as it unfurls. Uh, hey, um, part one of this should have actually just been uploaded to YouTube. Well, um, gone live. After having been ready since May. Yeah, work is fucked with this uh, playthrough significantly. Coming home and feeling a little burnt out and not wanting to record or edit. Not because I don't, I dislike teaching or anything, it's just, you know. Sometimes you want to come home and just watch some fucking videos, not make videos. That, uh, that's definitely the feeling I get sometimes. Right, so... That's a drop-off. There's a ring there, which is pretty neat. I uh, don't think anyone really uses it for PvP. Just because, well... Well, you know that, and Havels, Prisoner's Chain, Chlor uh, Chloranthi plus three, you know. There's a lot better rings for PvP. That's a pretty neat, neat one in concept. It's basically a weaker version of Gower's, um, Gower's ring. Yeah, it was Gower's, right? Yeah. I know it was Gower's. I'm thinking there's another word in there I'm missing. I'm missing. Gower's ring of protection, I think is what it's called. Yeah, so sometimes this guy won't even see you. It's kind of odd. So we killed all them. Perfect. One, two. Even buff. One, two. Oh, three. Okay, that's weird. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as buffed as his mate. Alright, a few chunks. Fantastic. Bloody hell, the chair's sinking on me. This is awesome. Right. So, yeah, we're finally getting to Lothric Castle proper. Up there's the bridge you fight Dragon Slayer armor on. Um, just here should be that little building that leads to the, um, the, uh, Warriors of Sunlight. Uh, yeah. The statue. Where you get Celeste stuff. Because <laughs> reasons. That, uh, that looks a little DS2, don't it? A little DS1 as well, I guess, to be fair. Yeah, so that's Dragon Slayer Armor's bridge. This one up here is on the way to the archives, which are at the very, very top of this. It is cool how, you know, um, in this game you can easily make out different areas at a glance, at a distance. Um, obviously there were reasons you couldn't in Dark Souls 2. I should really do this in case I die, which I shouldn't, but you never know. Um, yeah, DS2. 
really got screwed over. So I'm really hoping Elden Ring's gonna be... I guess DS2-2? If that makes any sense? In regards to, like... It builds off the ideas they wanted to accomplish with the original version of 2. Where it was going to be a little more open. Um, where there were going to be some cool other ideas they never really got to work on. I don't know how time travel will factor in, but you never know. Alright, these guys. Now, just like their cathedral variants, these guys love to never stop swinging if you give them the chance. I might as well chuck in. In a lot of mods, uh, this area is kind of turned into curse instead of toxic. Because, you know, that's a fun mechanic. I know someone will get enjoyment from that, but I don't know. I could do without um, a swamp that curses me in a game where curse is an instant death as opposed to, like, hollow hollowing you out. I'd be saying that even with DS1 mechanics. It is weird going back to the depths, actually, the other night. Okay, cool. I've got a lot of them, so I don't actually need them. Also, I bought a ton of these. Um, and just comparing the Basilisk's Curse Fog in DS1 compared to here. Hell, even in 2. In 1, I've, I've only ever been cursed once, and I was really screwing around. Where I should have just, you know, taken them a little more seriously, and not fucked around. If that was DS1 or 2, I would have died from that. Because I couldn't have rolled that fast. <laughs> Magic stone plate. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's just weird how in this game, and I've blabbed on a, a, a ton, I know, about just how weird the detection on the curse fog is, actually. Kind of strange. So, just up there, you can drop off a little bit and get onto... I'm pretty sure it's that roof, actually, just there. Uh, towards the base of the... Oh, wait, no, no, no. It'll be... It's one of these roofs. It's either... That one, or it's the lower one, it's just there. Um, which is where you get um, Kaifa's Chime and a Red Tear Stone. Well, it's near the Red Tear Stone, rather. Right, before we go fight the boss. You done? Okay, he's, he's not going to shut up. Let's walk back this way for a sec. Right, Dragon Scale Ring. Ring of Osiris, former king of Lothric. Reduces damage from backstabs. In his later years, Osiris became fascinated with dragons. After going mad, he was more commonly known as the Consumed King. Many assassins were dispatched to his domain, but none returned. The king, the Consumed King ascribed his resilience to the divine protection of excuse me, of the Dragon Scale. And looking at it, no shit, it, you know, it's it's a higher res version of the Dragon Scales from DS1. Um, why would this dude love dragons so much? Well, you're gonna see in a sec. Let's just pop this on. Man, I really wanted to use the, uh, the big old, um, Castle's Curved Greatsword, but I guess we're not for this. Right. Fire's not going to do a lot. Also, there's a summon for Hawkwood back up there, but fucking we don't need that. Before the fight really starts, Cathedral Knights can fucking whack you through this door. You gotta be very careful. They're excellent at slamming you as you come through. Also, Osiris' catalyst as something we could use would be fucking rad. Uh, so yeah. Shades are safe, huh? 
just like Steve, Osiris is a bitch. You know, except for phase two. Where he's just kind of aggravating. That was weird, it took like an extra swing for some reason. Yeah, kind of funny how a uh, guy obsessed with dragons bases, bases himself off the dragon that had no scales and then attributes his success to the dragon scale. Oh, also. But she ain't got no scales. That's weird. I don't remember him having those burst effects on some of his hits. It's been a while, actually. Yeah, so he's got that Sith spin. He's also got some other shit. Um, he's got the two-frame startup charge, which I fucking hate. Especially when you hear his, like, soul level one. Uh, so, yeah, I was obviously, you know, ignoring the point of cut, you know, the little tidbit of cut content in that Osiris had an actual baby once upon a time in his hand that he smashed on the ground. Uh, they just made the baby invisible. I guess technically the asset is still there, or they just got rid of it. But yeah, there is actually a child, or was at some point, and then... Someone looked at it and went, Miyazaki, no, you can't fucking do this. Oh, so there's the charge, by the way. He's probably gonna hit me again while I do this. Perfect. I'm just gonna stay nice and full, because... Osiris isn't tough. But sometimes he'll just really get a few good cheap, cheap hits in. So yeah, that's his spin. The Royal Rat Authority over here. Yep, so as you can see, he barely finished that animation and he already got into it again. That shit will curse you, just like C. That's the fucking charge. So if you block it, you're generally pretty solid. But fuck me, is there like no downtime? There's no startup on it. The music's really cool, actually. I barely get to listen to this. Kind of taking it slower than usual for once. Let's see if we can get a good look at that charge. Just to show how fucking weird it is. He can sometimes glitch into these trees, which is a bit odd. Oh, the tree roots. Come on, go for it. So, you know, he's just going for his slams. Come on, show it off. Yep, so as you can see, fucking no warning for the most part. Alright, and... Oh. Meanwhile, this is all because I decided to show off his charge. Would have killed him otherwise. Come on, really? Alright. See you later, fuckers. Well, this is a very short episode. <laughs> this is nice and concise. And we get a good amount of souls from him, too. Yeah, some, so we got some cool levels. Alright. Alright, well, thanks for joining. No, no, not quite yet. Um, kind of neat how this is all fucking wrecked and stuff. This is definitely a nice looking area, um, aesthetically. Wonder if it was meant to be more to this room initially. I just haven't seen in cut content videos. Um, I'm just going this way to show off one other thing I forgot to point out. It's not important, I just kind of like to show it off. Also, yeah, we're going around back. Um, the whole reason you come here in the first place. Not for the tour de force that is this boss fight. Man, I hope we get a moose set like this in Elden Ring. Nah, yeah, fuck you. Get good. Says man who just got fucking launched by the uh, Consume King space program. And yeah, I'm only really using the Shield of Want because more souls is good for buying consumables and stuff to help this LP going. To keep this LP going. And also because, what, I'd be using the fucking um, Millwood Shield otherwise. <laughs> so you know, might as well just get some extra souls for some goodies. 
Right. Oh, what am I doing? The whole point I fucking came here. Right. So, yeah, this guy is meant to buff him up, but obviously he can't if they're fucking dead. Um, and also he can't buff him if he's fucking dead. That too. So, yeah, Hawkwood summons signs there because he's on the path to become a dragon. Yeah, there you go. Someone fucked up royally. Yeah. To be fair, unlike Lost Isolith, at least there's a skybox. At least there's a fucking skybox. This is a neat little area, though. Not hard, but cool. Oh, while we're at it. Claw. Like these guys quite a bit. Okay, so yeah, so these claws also have a role. Like the mannequin claws. I assumed as much. Basically the same thing like I showed off previously. Um, but instead you have this. Which does have some hyper armor on it, thank Christ. But you're going to take instability damage while you do it, so... Might not be the best maneuver. That said, honestly the main reason I came here is because we've now got the Shadow Set. So, Black Cloth, worn by spooks from an eastern land, sacrifices defense for greater mobility. The late King Osiris was obsessed by dragons, to the extent that he would later be known as the Consumed King. Countless assassins were sent to end his reign, but none returned. And there's a lot of stuff. It's the stuff he's been swaddled in. He was born as a shriveled, frail child. Very sickly. It's the only thing he's ever worn. Pray solicit. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, you get an upvote. What do you What do you got to say? I think that yeah, this might be one of the corners you can get him stuck in, if you position yourself correctly. Kind of reminds me of a bed of chaos or the uh, um, oh, great hollow or something. Or um, of course, what's it called? Shrine of Amana actually, with the way the trees are growing. Yeah, it does kind of bum me out, though. Like, of all the places they had of DS2 in this game, for the Dread Keep, they chose... Irvin Peak. Not Amana. Not Summer Dranglayer Castle. Not Forest of Fallen Giants. Hade. Um, even No Man's Wharf. The fact they chose Irvin Peak. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so uh, they're not tough most of the time. Until they set up their parry and get you on frame one of their animation. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Path of the dragon. Dragon. Could this be a hint? Tight night scale. Hey, someone with a halberd. Good taste. No other chests. Could this be a life, but impossible? Liar ahead. Be wary of a liar. I like you guys. Alright, what have you got to say? Yeah, why not? Alright, and this should be... What, I forget. Yep, more scales. Cool. Illusion ahead. Illusion ahead. Right, so I'm kind of of two minds of where... Of the, where I'm going next. Ooh. Demon fists. I know that armor. That's some sick armor. Because now we've kind of got a few choices. So we're in untended graves, right? Now a sensible person would just keep running through this. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do this. I might be banging my head against... Uh, against... Against... Um, fucking... What are they going to call them? Fucking roundhouse kick master gun deer. I mean, I could. I, you know, Untender Graves aren't long. I'll think about it in a sec. Just while I'm leveling up and shit. Oh boy, I'm not good at powering him, though. I've never bothered. Because most of the time I'm here, I'm incredibly low level. So, as consequence, let's be incredibly boring. Let's be incredibly boring. Alright, now we got nothing to give you, and you shouldn't have anything new, right? Yeah, so grabbed all the armor. Yep. And I've got more of these. Let's just buy more, because fuck it. Yeah, let's get one of those and some kukris. Anything else? Wooden arrows, of course. Alright, cool. 
obviously I should have upgraded my flamberge to plus eight, but that would be sensible. That, uh, that, that would be sensible. We're going to be getting plenty of chunks in Lofric Castle anyway, so it's all good. Right, so our options right now. Oh, let me just change that to fashion while I talk. Um, our options at this point are pretty good, actually. We can go do Untended Grace, which is probably what I'm going to do, because fuck it. Um, we can head over to Lofric Castle proper. Or we could go to Arch Dragon Peak, now that we have the gesture. Which involves us heading on back to Irrifull Dungeon. Can we wear some proper gloves? Yeah, how's that poise? It says man using great sword, so it's not like it matters too much. Hey, perfect. And we're at the good 70, not the bullshit one. Right. Rad rad. Okay, so I'm thinking. We don't have any, nor should we. Let's go ahead and just start doing this. I think we'll be good. I should have enough time um, before I have to start worrying about tea. Uh, t -t 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 Chuck you. Says man wasting time in menus. Right, there we go. Cool. Right, let's go do it. Untended graves are pretty short, thankfully. And that took no fucking time at all. So, untended graves. Um... I think, based on what I know about cut content, this might have been the intended final part of the game. Because there's the whole deal where, um, like I've said, Pontiff, um, not Soul of Cinder, was intended to be the final boss. Which explains his moveset. And why it's so fucking rad. You guys take a while to start up, but you're going to fuck me up anyway a bit. I'm hitting the tree. That worked out nicely. Ashenesis ring. Get fucked. Shriving stone. No, no fucking scythe. Of course not. Right, we're just gonna run back to the bonfire because I might as well have as much FP as I can. There's a couple of chuckle fucks to smash our way through here, and who knows, we might actually get invaded. That'd be neat. If I did, though, I'll probably have to make a cut and finish recording this later on. Just because invasion here might take a while. So, there's an item there. That's cool and all. But there's a Grave Warden, so we're going to wait for a second. There's also another Grave Warden just behind that wall, in fact. So, let's just give it a second to come out. We can basically... Yes. Almost two-shot it. So, there's the other one walking. There's a bunch of dogs around there. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I can get a lot of other weapons up to par now. That's why I'm not going nuts with the chunks. Dog ambush. Dog ambush. Another chunk. Cool. Yeah. Gotcha, fucker. Alright, come on. Get along, little doggies. Kind of want to take him out before um, Twin Blades comes back. Wow, that was weird how they just fucking died like that. Alright, now he should be around there. Thankfully, slumbering dragon press ring means we can do this with impunity. Uh, there is also uh, another little fun thing up ahead that I'll have to contend with in a moment. Some good times, just ran this way. So, there is an invader who's going to show up. So, why don't we get this done? I mean, actually, it would have been way smarter to uh, have fought the lizards first and get that extra Estus, but oh well. Whatever. So these guys are real shits now. They've got the fucking thief dodges. Also, fucking parry king over here, even more so than Hodrick. So unlike the archives where Krimhild shows up, she has the Crystal Sage's rapier. There you go. See you later, fucker. Thankfully, she doesn't drop anything. Ah, fuck it. I guess we're just going straight to Gundy. Right, that guy's got a crossbow. There's going to be a, another one just around the corner who's going to try to come out and get us. Man, if we were plus eight, that would one shot. Fantastic. Yep. 
Wow, this is a fucking curb stomp right now. I'll show off their little shenanigans in a sec. I'd rather just get most of this done. Oh, thank you. There's nothing down here, but there's enemies here anyway. Yeah, not even firebombs again. Not even black firebombs. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, oh, uh, why do I keep trying to say Aldrich when I mean Pontiff? Pontiff was meant to be the final boss. Um, at some point, you were going to ring the bell of the top of Firelink Shrine, supposedly. Um, that's what the bell tower was initially for, cur curiously enough. I don't actually have the Firekeeper set, do I? Now I think of it. I've still got to fucking go do that drop. I just edited that part the other day, so it's kind of in my mind, fresh in my mind, but I need it. Yep. The glory of Dark Souls 3 enemies. Boy, I love them. To be fair, at least that one didn't poise through and, like, get a hit in because it needs to. Because that's how that works. Fuck you. Yeah, that's why I was trying to get that sorted. Because crossbow Jimmy over here. I'm going to get hit. No, I didn't. Thank Christ. Fuck off, top Jimmy. He's the king, but you're not. Oh, come on. I'm kind of scrubbing it up to be fit. Actually, hold on a second. No, you don't. Parry that casual. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So down there is nothing. Swordmaster's here. Help me. Try parrying. Try parrying. So just while I prattle on for a sec. So I don't think we actually picked up anything worth talking about, did we? No. It's all pretty basic shit, actually. Um, hmm. Oh, while I'm thinking of it. Do, 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 do. There we go. Consume King. Um... He went mad from trying to harness his royal blood for a greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives, where he discovered the twisted worship of Seif the Pale Drake. I get they're trying to make him sound cool, but Pale Drake doesn't actually sound particularly awesome in my opinion. Makes him sound like a bitch. Hey Gundir, how's it feel to be a fucking badass? Alright, um, Black Knight Glaive. Unlike Dark Souls 1, it doesn't fucking break the game. Oh, before we uh, get any closer, let's handle this. Don't come any closer! The only safe place is in here. Now, Champion Gundy is a fucking champ, really. He's such a fucking cool boss. Uh, if you have a better upgraded shield, this would be much more manageable. Also, I love the fact his grab isn't completely fucked, unlike most of Bombs Off Flare Storm Crabs. I can't remember if you can bleed him out. A great sword isn't probably the best weapon to go for, to be honest. That's it, we are doing a lot of damage. Alright, there's the charge. I'm gonna get I'm gonna eat it. Nope. Cool. Um, because I don't quite have the raw power of a ultra great or the speed of a straight, but it's working out quite well. So even if you're going to take like a glancing blow, it's always worth to be topped off against this guy because of his sick moves. Um, he's very good at getting his, a touch of death on you. So you've got to be very careful. So he has a lot of highly exploitable windows parrying. Also, sometimes you can't get up from that properly. It's kind of weird and you end up panic rolling by accident because of a delayed instance. That was also super weird. Hey, Gundyr. It's been a bash. Try parrying. Haha. <laughs> oh, I don't need that shit. I'm such a badass. <laughs> Says man who died to buff lo buffed Lothric Knight before recording started. Well, the original one. Man, you fucking beat him wearing that. You're rad. So Fallen Knight Gauntlets couldn't figure out the pants. Maybe they were the Evangelist trousers. Alright, well I guess we're doing this. Just let me slap on my usual shit. Uh, so Champ Gundyr. 
This is from presumably before we woke up. As his soul should explain. If I can actually get to it and not be an idiot. Aldrich. Yeah, the souls are kind of in a weird order. Um, soul of the champion, Gundir. Once a champion came late to the festivities. And was greeted by a shrine without fire. And a bell that would not toll. Yeah, so you can make his sweet halberd, which I fucking love. But I've never really got a chance to use it, in spite of how much I, well, fucking love it. Or you can get the Prisoner's Chain, which is, well, kind of invaluable for the most part. Especially if you're a co-op or, or an invader. Um, it's too good of an option to pass up, to be completely honest. That's half the problem. So, no items there. Um... On the plus side, at least I'll be getting my fucking Black Knight leggings as far as I'm bloody concerned. In fact, screw this. So, there's a bunch of these guys around here. And yeah, they're fucking badasses. Uh, of course. Damn it. Yeah, it can be a little foolhardy to try to beat them. Because you're not going to outpoison for the most part. You'd need a fucking, like, ultra... You'd need fucking Smoke's Hammer, or Morns, or Leto's to re reliably have poison. Or just a lot of fucking poison in general, to be honest. Yes! Finally! Fucking Vindicated! Right, now there's at least two of these guys left. There's one round there guarding the Grave of Artorius. And one up here. Well, this is actually going to be nice and short, actually. Actually, actually. Let's just power up again. So a bunch of Dark Souls 1 stuff in this area. There's the Hornet Ring over by Artorius' grave. There's the Chaos Blade just up ahead. That's kind of funny. Because um, the Chaos Blade was going to be the thing Shiva was after in Dark Souls 1. When he was just straight up Satsuki from Demon Souls. Um, before he <laughs> Satsuki was turned into a stereotype. <laughs> Oh boy. I know a lot of the fucking redesigns are very subjective in Demon Souls remake. And they're all really high quality art. I'm not gonna dispute that. But boy, Satsuki, uh Oh. He got the short end of a stick as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Alright, so no items here. Yeah, so Dark Fire Link, huh? Video games, huh? That's a Hornet Ring right there. Okay. We'll pick it up in a sec. Let's go for a weapon up, R2. Muda Muda. Uri. So Chaos Blade is what you expect from Dark Souls 1. Take damage when you hit. Hit shit. Um, not unlike a thing misshapen, granted life. But never welcome in this world. In other words, Chaos itself. Which is why Quailax Soul makes it. So yeah, it's um, what you expect. Obviously it'd be a little cooler if uh, if not for me having no FP. Yeah, so it's pretty rad. Let's slap that back on. And the Hornet Ring is the Hornet Ring from Dark Souls 1. A uh, boost crits Mask Siren or Kirin. Still hot. Was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's Four Nights. And her cursed sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies of the throne. What the fuck is it with it uh, with rings and their fucking formatting for text? With the were and the I don't fucking get it. I don't know what happened. Strange. Well, it's faithful to the original Japanese translation, Bakugajin. Snarf snarf. Cold sword fragment. Infinite homeward bones. Can trade it for a slab, though, which I might do at the very end of this, depending. Fragments of the coiled sword of a bonfire, which served its purpose long ago. Returns casted to the last bonfire used for resting, or to Violink Shrine. Can be used repeatedly. Bonfires are linked to one another, irreversibly. Retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in, with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? 
or you can provide me the set of Artorias and that ring, the Priestess ring. Yeah, um, hmm. And we're done, basically, in terms of her usefulness. To skirt the curse's grasp, tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs, but remember. Fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already, like the poor girl. <laughs> to skirt the tarot is all like the <laughs> best not tarry long. <laughs> yeah, I haven't listened to a dialogue for a long time, to be honest. Time for crab. Sure. Blacksmith hammer. It's a man. Swamp. Yeah, okay. Passed down amongst blacksmiths of the shrine. Strike weapon excels at reducing poise, but not really any better than a normal hammer. Of course, its true purpose is realized in the hands of a blacksmith. And by purpose, I mean potential. And yeah, it has perseverance. It's not quite the craftsman's hammer from DS2. Which I know, yeah, yeah, noob weapon. Haha, ha, shut up. Um, craftsman's hammer is fucking rad um, for a PvE build. For just getting through the game, it fucking rocks. Better counter damage than the mace. A little stronger than the mace. Good shit. So this is the one everyone says is meant to be made in black because the eyes are covered in wax. Even though, well, it's wearing the firekeeper stuff. Not really the bindings of the maiden. Yeah, and like, it's the same fucking model we've seen in the, uh, in the tower. Of course, I should give you a like. So we'll read those in one sec. There's like one other thing I'd like to do really quickly before we leave. Um, so yep. No Kala, no Grey Rat, no Uria. Uh, Uria, what am I saying? Well yeah, no Uria. If you never met Yol, his ashes will show up here, which lets you get, um, well the stuff he would sell. Not the stuff Uria gives you though. Um, not like the, not the, uh, Dark Drift you get from killing her, or the armor. Sadly. But yeah. Nothing up that way as per usual. Um, there's another seed of a giant tree we can access. So every time you get invaded, one's going to spawn here. Or it'll spawn um, back at Firelink. Or at normal Firelink. Can't go there. But the tree jump still exists. If I can fucking nail it. So there's literally no reason to come up here. Um, Estus Shard Flask is, Estus Flask Shard is up here, as is the Silver Serpent Ring, but we already got them. So yeah, there's no actual purpose to back here, other than you can just get here, because you can get here. We'll just shut off the back real quick, to prove I'm not fucking nuts, and not misremembering. There's some messages though. Ah, uh, keep moving. Impossible. And yeah, there's no ladder. So you can't actually get up there. And even if you could, there's nothing. I don't think the lifted even function. Alright, well, we're out of here. See you later, fuckers. Alright, let's level up so I can finish this off nice and quickly. Yeah, this is just going to be one part. Fuck it. Also, it's in gun deer. Two great flavors together at last. Alright, now... Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, no, fuck it. We'll grab the levels. Because I can farm for the armor off screen. Haha. -ha. Checkmate. Farewell, so we got Gundy's goodies. Now available to us. Should we look at Artorias' stuff to round us out before we finish up. Okay, cool. Greyrat's going to want to head over to Lothric Castle, but we'll talk to him once we're uh, at the archives proper. So yeah, choices, choices. I think Lothric Castle's going to be next. Dragon Slayer armor is not too tough, and it should hopefully be a whole part in itself. No books to give. All right, we're good. Let's just look at this really quickly. Where are you? Right next to Elva. Helm of a Knight, tainted by the dark of the abyss. The twilight blue tassel is damp and will forever remain so. A vanquished knight left behind the only wolf's blood and his legacy of duty 
the Undead Legion of Farron was formed to bear his torch, and the armor of these Abyss Watchers suggests their own eventual end. Which is the capes um, got some residue on it. And Helm of the Badass Gundir, ancient helm of a set cast of iron armor belonging to Champion Gundir, molded after a former king. Hey, being King Doran, how about that? Doran's set also looks like shit. Gundir, of a bladed champion, was bested by an unknown warrior. He became he became chief to a coiled sword in the hopes that someday the first flame would be linked once more. And smoke stuff. Last night to stand in the cathedral. So I guess that implies, yeah, Ornstein was a um, illusion after all that. Oh, we got some cool shit. Cool. Thanks for joining us. I have no idea of the dumb edit I'm going to make out of this. But yeah, I will just say really quickly, obviously I like doing the Astral Chain edits a lot, but something like this is fun because I get to do something different. It's variety for variety's sake, I guess. But, you know, if you've made it this far, thanks for sticking with this series. Um, yeah, it's just fun to do this every once in a while. But anyway, enough, enough out of me. Catch you later. Slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. <laughs> <laughs>